諗下你以前啦，哎呀，真係感受，哎，真係好好淒涼嗰種，以前好淒涼啊！你睇下幾淒涼啊！諗起真係冇人冇人相信呢啲嘢。咁你回回顧過去九年喺美國嘅生活，其實有冇想像過有一日去住喺一間四房嘅大？我冇發夢都冇過，又唔諗過。真係發夢都冇諗過。Earlier this year, the standard was allow access inside an SRO or single room occupancy in San Francisco's Chinatown. Wei Mu Yi Yu, her husband Jian Hua, and their four children had been living in the 100-square-foot room for nine years. It was all they could afford. Then, in late February, everything changed. After nine long years, the family of six received a Section 8 housing voucher by the San Francisco Housing Authority. Section 8 vouchers often take years to be granted to low-income families like the Yu's. Their new home, a four-bedroom apartment located in Knob Hill, is just a few blocks away from their Chinatown SRO and is nearly ten times bigger than where they lived before. They will need to pay 30% of their income for the rent, and the Section 8 voucher will cover the rest. We are now in a good situation. Our children are happy. We have to pay. 媽咪有冇嘢食啊？咁我可以自己而家喺屋企煮俾佢食。Before the family shared the kitchen and bathroom with multiple other families living on their floor, fighting back tears, Yu told us she felt like a failure as a mother for not being able to provide her children with adequate space to live and study. 呢間我個房，呢間我個房間，誒呢個廁所，呢個廁所。呢個飯廳我哋食飯嘅，嗯睇電視，嗯啊坐呢度，誒呢個廚房我哋煮飯嘅，誒幫啲仔女爭取到誒有間大間屋俾我啲仔女，有個好嘅環境讀書，誒最緊要啲小朋友讀書，我我爭取間屋咧。我希望誒誒民居局咧誒多誒繼續幫我幫嗰啲散房啲小朋友，係啊多啲機會俾啲散房小朋友，有有有得住有得，哎呀激動得滯。A local advocacy organisation has identified 200 families like the Yu's with children under the age of 18 currently living in SRO hotels in San Francisco. But the actual number is likely much higher. The Yu family is among 68 or so Chinatown SRO families who have received housing vouchers this year. Even though Yu and her family were lucky enough to move to a bigger place, she knows that the fight for decent-sized housing isn't over. She plans to continue to speak up and advocate for families just like hers.